Moondog here with the P-Code 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Now this is a fast charging wireless power bank, so that makes it a little bit unusual. Uh, and it, it is very small and compact. You can see here, it is barely the size. It's smaller than my phone. Uh, in fact, here, hold on a second. This is my phone, and this is smaller than my phone. Uh, and it is a wireless uh, charger. As you can see here, if you, uh, there we go, see, wireless charging. Um, we're going to uh, test this out. In fact, this was sent to me by P-Code to test and evaluate. They sent along the pink model. It comes in four different colors, uh, pink, uh, light blue, purple, and beige. And obviously, um, it appeals to uh, a certain aesthetic. Uh, I think they are very cute looking, um, very compact, and uh, we're going to take a look at what you get in the box, and then we're going to test it out with five different devices, because this claims to be able to charge up to five devices simultaneously. So we're going to test that out and see if that's true. So let's go take a look at the box and we'll get started. Okay, let's take a look at this box. Very delicate looking, very cosmetic-y. Uh, don't want a gender profile here, but definitely much more female focused than your typical electronics box. Uh, it comes in four different colors. We have pink, purple, uh, cream, and bluish. And this is the pink model. So let's take a look at what's inside. All the packaging information is in Chinese, so I don't read Chinese. Um, well, it does say Lieberfeel which is German, um, well, not spelled German, but it's Liberfeel, uh, not Liberfeel, sorry, Liberfeel, um, and digital display built-in cable, 10,000 milliamp power bank. Okay. Comes with a USB-C cable. Instruction manual, also in Chinese. Oh, with an illustration. Interesting. So yeah, definitely. Oh, here's one of the things. It comes with this plastic protective cover. You need to take that off. So be sure you take this off before you use it. And they have the unit itself. Uh, and there's also a separate plastic protective cover Okay, so be sure you take off the plastic protective cover on the display, that just keeps it from being scratched, and the protective cover on the charging pad itself, because that, if you don't, if you leave that on, it could interfere with uh, your charging of your devices. So it comes with, nicely enough, it comes with two built-in cables, one for Apple's Lightning, and the other is a USB-C, so comes with built in that's that's nice and also comes with a USB C in and out and a USB A out so in total you get one two three four five ways to charge to your devices um, obviously if you don't have a certain kind you can get an adapter so if you don't have a, an Apple product or an Apple iPhone or what have you you can get an adapter to USB C uh, or you know vice versa and this is kind of weird. It looks like a dial, but it doesn't function as a dial. It's just on off. So it shows you that it's charged 100% and it turns it on and off. So that display just shows you how much of a charge it has. And you can charge it externally via this cable here. So let's try that out. Okay, I found my wall charger and uh, well, it's a little moot since this is fully charged already, but um, it's a good opportunity to test out the wireless charging capability of this uh, power bank. Now, the wireless charging plate has a nice wide rubberized ring on the, the charging base, um, which provides a good non-slip surface, as well as a built-in magnet. Um, here, I'll demonstrate with this metal plate. That magnet sticks pretty tight, um, use it. Oh, you have to turn it on though. Make sure that that blue light is on. And you can see the charge indicator. And yes, it is charging. And it does say fast wireless charging. So yes, it does fast wireless charge if you have a compatible phone. Um, this is a Samsung S21 Plus. And let me just take a look at my Galaxy, my old Galaxy S7. 
and it does say, yep, yeah, there we go, it's charging. And I don't know if these, this model, the, uh, the S7 actually did have fast wireless charging or just regular wireless um, charging. If you happen to remember, or if you happen to know, leave me a comment. Um, I don't think it does, but it does provide a good non-slip surface here. You can see as I'm moving uh, the phone, the charger moves with it even when it's plugged in. And this is a good, actually it's a good test. Let's see if it will charge along with charging, recharging itself. So yeah, there you go. It's recharging itself, it's charging my phone, and as you can see, it sticks on pretty well. Doesn't get easily, it doesn't slip off easily. Unlike, here I'll show you, um, regular um, wireless charging stand or base, like this Aki that I have, um, it's really nice to have wireless charging, but if you've ever traveled with these, these are problematic because if you know you, you put this on a nightstand next to your bed in the hotel room, um, yeah, you got to make sure that it's right on to charge. But it's really easy if you're you know reaching for the the hotel phone or your book or just the light on the nightstand to you know accidentally knock it off, and now it's not. It's not aligned properly, it's not charging. You wake up the next day and your phone is not charged at all. And if you travel with kids, it's super easy for them to, you know, as they're moving around, uh, being rambunctious in the room, to knock it off. Uh, and as you can see, if you move the phone, um, it's easy for it to, to get knocked off the stand. Whereas if you, with this, with a liber feel, you can move this, move this around, and it still stays on and it's still charging. So we can see that it's charging while it's charging itself. Um, but if we take off, um, if we use this port instead of as a charging port for the device, and we find a, all right, so let's attach a USB cable. Yeah, that's charging. Um, let's charge my other phone. Let's take that cable out, USB-C cable to charge my mini light that's charging so fourth and let's charge uh, another device well actually let's charge this phone and we can charge another phone so is that yep there we go charging galaxy a12 charging my s21 charging my old S7 and charging my light. So we've got a total of one, two, three, four devices. And if I had an Apple device, I'm sure I could charge the fifth. And the thing is just about the same size as the five port wall charger that I was using to charge it. Um, this is this is great. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, especially the subscribe button because it really helps this channel out and helps you out because it tells the AI that you're interested in watching more videos about gadgets and things as opposed to, say, mm, cat videos, unless that's your thing. Be sure to check out my other videos at Moondogindustries.com. Thanks for watching. You be safe out there and enjoy your travels. Moondog, out. Hey. If you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.